everybody. Um, I haven't seen my daughter since Thursday. It's been almost a week, in two days, it'll be a week. I haven't seen my daughter outside of the court regulations and parenting time system and everything. But like I said before, it's an ongoing pattern of what's going on. But I woke up today and I felt like bad feelings and bad vibes. As soon as I stepped out the house, uh, I've been going out here to work and stuff. I'm feeling dizzy, like I was starving, like I was dehydrated. I don't know what it is. But, you know, by me possessing these gifts and having this instinctively intuition connected with my daughter since we've been together since birth, you know, since she was born, I can really feel everything she feels, everything she is going through. I've always been able to feel it every time she was away from me. So I just wanted to say a little prayer for my daughter. I'd like to say, Mother Earth, Father God, Brother Universe, may you watch over my daughter and have the protection angels overseeing her path. May she eat well and healthy. May she sleep restfully. May she know that I always return to get her and that it is not me keeping me away from her, which is the purpose of these videos. So she may know the truth as well as everyone else. May she understand that I'm coming to get her, that I love her, and that I'm still connected to her. May she pull from my side of the gene for her. May she stay calm. May she just play and be near me and happy until my arrival. Thank you. But either way I go, I still have to make good music work on these beats, um, work on this new video for Let Me Be, um, old school Detroit classic, Detroit is mine, uh, working on the commercial for Arizona, uh, using that um, song Mucho Mucho, and some stuff coming up for everybody, writing the script and everything for some Detroit movies and stuff, still gotta keep going, stay focused, my daughter's gonna be okay, I got my cards read, and you know, they told me that she was gonna pull from my strength, as long as it, that balance between us, it can never be broken. Because it doesn't make sense for her to abandon this child and me take care of my child for the first 10 months of her life alone. Seeing her in the hospital, her through sickness, staying up all night because she couldn't sleep. Her skin was breaking out, everything, you know, she had mineral, uh, what's that? Uh, viral meningitis. She had. Uh, they had her hepatitis shots, they had, everything was wrong with her, she had bloodshot red in her eyes. It was so much stuff was going on with the baby, so I had to oversee this. I lost my other job, lost my other stuff, took time off from work to make sure my daughter was okay. So I can, you know, get back on the road. I saw her back to health myself. Uh, no Similac, no nothing, just good old fruits and vegetables and tender love and care. And it worked. Now she, you see the video, she up playing happy and everything. So I just did the best that I could be there for my daughter. She came back to get visiting time. I said, we can't trust her. She tried to kill my daughter. She sent me a message, said, I'm sitting in the tub of hot water. I killed that stupid baby. That baby is dead. You don't have to worry about me or the baby no more. I killed her. It's good. I killed her. Um, you can go about your life and all of this. So she's been doing this since day one. the man that I would be to judge, to cloud my judgment and my mindset. She told me she was gonna do this on purpose. And this was her mission, to prove to me that um, good and God wasn't real and all that stuff. She just really like, anti-Christ, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, uh, I just try my best to stay focused and keep going. And keep working on the company. You know, keep the green flag strong. Because if I don't do this, if I don't focus on this, then it won't happen. Detroit won't happen. The turnaround won't happen if I don't go out here with this. So I had to keep going forward. I had to think about the greater good. Spending all my time, all my money, all my stuff. Focus on going to this case. I spent a lot of money, hundreds of dollars and everything. And it got me nowhere. So she left me. I was taking care of the child. She came to get parenting time. She came to visit the child. It was only for a few hours. 
She takes the child, never saw my daughter again. For two months. I didn't know when she was coming back, just like right now. I don't know when she's coming back. She put the PPO out on me, so that if I did try to call her contact her, I would be in trouble and go to jail for breaking the PPO to make me appear as a deadbeat dad. I still called, I still did message her, like, where's my daughter? I'm going to call you every day until I see my daughter. Why do you want to bring her back? You're supposed to be just getting visiting time. So, I even had to go to court for that too because I violated the PPO, which proves that I did not abandon my daughter, even though she put the PPO out on me under false pretenses. And then go to court saying, I want child support. He can pay child support and not see his daughter. He need to pay child support. He can have his child and pay child support. He have his child, he need to pay child support. Whether he had a child or not. She was saying all this crazy stuff and put me on child support. And they're probably gonna take me to jail or indict, indict everything that I do, all this crazy stuff. I ain't never done nothing wrong. All the videos, all this proof is I have my daughter since birth, since day one. Everything is shown that. And I'm on child support. While the child lives with me. And after the child support went through, she said, you or somebody come get your daughter. Didn't see her again for another six months. So it was a setup, so she can put me on child support, because she know. She knew about me making the cities, me trying to run for mayor, me doing this money and this business. She know my mindset and what I'm going towards in life, but she wanted to set me up now. She said this was her opportunity. All the messages, I have everything. I saw you as an opportunity for me and my son. You can take care of him, be in my life, and do all of this. She just was playing me, using me from day one. Me just being optimistic, not being shallow, like, I got your back, you don't have to worry about it, just follow me, I'll take care of you, I'll show you all of this, this, people lying to you, this, 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 don't worry about none of that stuff, just, you know, have, be by my side, I got your back, all of this. Girl, you going through some stuff, you was living in the crack house, you was under prostitution and all the stuff like that, you don't have to worry about that, you don't have to do that no more, I'll protect you from now on, you don't have to worry about this, and this is how she repay me, you know, this is what she do, uh, so... She'd rather put my daughter through the same thing she been through, not having a father being raised out in the streets to a deadbeat mom who don't know who, what, when, where, why, how about life, you know, uh, leaving you subjectable to fall for anything because you stand for nothing. So, I just want to say, you know, like, subscribe, share the page, um, get the message around. Anybody see my daughter, where she is, where she at, if you locate her, just, you know, don't do nothing, don't apprehend the subject, <laughs> the police say. And the police don't want to help me. They don't care. This is what they want. I told you the system wants this. They, they want us all fighting and doing all this stuff like that. But I'm actually somebody who's innocent. I, I didn't do anything. I haven't done anything besides take care of my daughter. And they're still doing this to me. So this should stand as the proof to y'all that the system is truly a system. No matter, no matter if you did good or if you did this or not. What has to change is us and us being weak to stand up for our rights and stand up to fight the system. Whether we are from Africa or we the native Indians or not, it doesn't matter. We still need to fight for the rights that we have now in the society that it is now today, you know. So again, if you have any story of anything you want to tell us, you know, like the page. <clears throat> like us on Facebook.